Hi, welcome to a brand new live watercolor tutorial. Today we will be painting this turtle with some butterflies surrounded by leaves. And if you haven't already, there's a link in the description of this video um, and it'll take you to my outline that you can download and transfer onto your watercolor paper. And on that link, there are instructions on how to um, transfer the sketch onto your watercolor paper. Okay, so let me get my camera situated and we'll get started. Okay. Hi everyone, good morning. I already um, started, sorry, that is shaky. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Okay. I already started transferring my sketch onto my watercolor paper, um, but I didn't get very far yet. And, hi, good morning. So, um, if you don't know how I do this, I have a sheet of graphite paper right here. And then I have my sketch on top and it's um, secured by washi tape. And the transfer paper I use is this from Arteza. And all um, supplies are in the description of this video too, if you um, are curious on what supplies I use. Hi everyone, good morning, how are you today? Let's see, we have Desiree, hi Desiree, we have Jessa, good morning. Who here is going to be painting along with me? And if you're not painting this turtle, what are you working on today? Hi, Joyce. Good morning. Hi, Hannah. I'm so glad it's Friday. It's been a very long week. <laughs> So I have never painted a turtle before. I, I have painted a sea turtle, um, but not like this kind of turtle. Who here has painted a turtle before? I hope it turns out all right. <laughs> Good morning, Sarah. Where you are, um, it's not morning, right? You're from the UK, it's in the afternoon. Good morning, Melanie. How are you doing? So, um, if you're just joining me, I am transferring my sketch onto my watercolor paper. And there is a link in the description of this video um, if you would like to download my sketch and transfer it onto your watercolor paper and paint along with me. Hopefully this live tutorial um, won't be as long as the last two <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I tried to make this painting more simple, but knowing me, it, I kind of made it a little bit 
complicated, I feel like. But I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hi, Lot. How are you doing? She says, it is 4 p.m. here. Good afternoon. So you must be from the UK, maybe? Or like somewhere in Europe? Hi, Ashton. Jessa says that she is painting an and ow, I am so jealous of you right now. Although I am excited to paint this. I love painting owls though. What kind of owl are you painting? Joy says that she is glad it's Friday too. Yeah, I am. I'm ready to just take a few days off. Although I might do some painting this weekend. To me, painting isn't really work. <laughs> Even though it is part of my work, but I really enjoy it so much that I, it's also a hobby. So what are you guys up to this weekend? What are your plans? Hi, Liz. I'm so glad you're here. She says it's been a very fast week. I totally agree with that. I feel like this week went by really fast for me. I feel like ever since um, COVID and like quarantine and stuff, ever since then, my days have just blended together and everything, I don't know. I just feel like my days just go by so fast and it's like, wow, it's already Friday. <laughs> what? It's crazy. Okay, I think I think I um, transferred everything. All right. So if you um, don't know, there are reference photos in the description of the video. There's one of the turtle. And there, there's one of this butterfly and then another of this butterfly. So you can find those in the description. And I feel like this line here is very dark, so I'm going to erase that a little bit. All right. <laughs> it didn't really work that well. Okay. Oh, who is ready to start painting? Let's see. I'm reading some more comments before we get started. Desiree says that she has painted a sea turtle too. And Liz says that she does turtle rocks. I'm not sure what that is. 
what what exactly is that like do you paint turtles on, on rocks lot says i'm writing my thesis i would love to be painting along but i have a deadline wow that sounds <laughs> super stressful good luck with that okay um i am thinking let me look at the reference photo for this turtle okay so he has a lot of like browns and it looks like some blues in him from like the reflecting light and um, some yellows and golds greens um, yeah I think I'm going to start with the turtle I think that's that's what I'll do maybe or maybe I want to start with this butterfly <laughs> and work my way this way I should have thought of this before going live. Um, let's go ahead and start with this butterfly actually, and then we will work on the turtle. Or, or maybe we'll, we'll paint the butterflies first and then the turtle. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm trying to bring up the butterfly reference photo. Okay, in the reference photo, it looks orange. I don't know if that's like the filter of the photo, but we're just going to go ahead and go with that. So he looks like yellow and orange and brown. So I think I'm going to use this Indian yellow from Windsor & Newton. The this is like the professional pan set. And this yellow here. I think this is Windsor yellow. And then some browns. Um, I'll, I'll try to explain what colors I'm using as I go. Okay, who is ready? Let's get started. I'm going to move my phone a little bit closer so it is going to shake a little bit just to warn you. Can you guys see okay? Okay. And by the way, we do have a like goal today. If we get 35 likes um, by the end of the video, I will show you a painting that I painted Jimmy, my husband, when we were dating like seven years ago, I, I painted him an oil painting. <laughs> so I'll show you um, that painting if we get to 35 likes. Actually, I'm going to move my phone up a little bit. Sorry, guys. Okay. I am reading some comments, <laughs> sorry. Sarah says, it's the afternoon here in the UK. Marie, hi Marie. She says, I'm just popping in to say hi. Sorry, I'll have to watch your playback video later today. I just wanted to say hi. Hi, I'm glad that you can stop by at least for a little while. Okay, I need to mix some. So this butterfly is like orange and yellow. Um, so I have some on my palette already. I don't really remember what colors I used to mix this. <laughs> um, but I'm assuming it's like this Indian yellow here and then this Windsor yellow. And then I'll mix a darker orange color. So I will um, mix some brown with yellow. Okay, I think that's a good start. And by the way, the paper I'm using is cold press from Arches. 
and I'm going to use the size 14 round brush from Princeton Neptune. I mean size 4, not 14. Hi Jessa, she says your turtle is going to turn out great. I am painting a screech owl. Oh, those are cute owls. Desiree says that she, that um that she's catching up with some paintings, and that this week has disappeared into thin air. Yes, it has. Okay, who is ready to start painting this butterfly? Okay. So I am first going to start a light color layer and then when that is dry we'll, we'll add some more color and then we will paint in the dark areas like the spots and stripes. So I'm taking some of this yellow and I'm trying to add a lot of water to make it very light. Okay, and I will go ahead and also paint. I'll just paint all of him this color. and I'm trying to make sure it's fairly wet and I'm going to drop in some of this darker yellow down here at the base of his wings. Oops, it's a little too much. Okay, because um, he's darker like down here and then up here he's like lighter And then he's a little darker up here on top of the swing, so I'll, add, I'll also add some up here. Okay. Yeah, so let's, let's just let that dry. And while that is drying, I will start, um, let's see, I'll start painting in these leaves right here. Hannah says, I'm setting, I'm, I'm getting set up, then I'm going to paint the finishing touches on a commission. It's hydrangea flowers and a negative painting technique. Ooh, that sounds cool. All right, so for these leaves, um, we, I, I want them to be a natural looking green which is basically, <laughs> I feel like I always paint with this kind of green, but I just really like it. So um, I'm going to take some sap green. And I am going to add a little bit of purple. I think this here. And I'll just start out with like a very light um, shade. Hi Des. How's it going? I'm glad that you're here. So yeah, I, I think for these leaves, I am going to first start out with like a really light shade. And then when they are dry, we will add some more like shading to them. Okay, 
I'm trying to bring up the comments. <laughs> um, let's see. G Pro. Oh my goodness. You Gabriella, that's your name. I, I, that was like at the tip of my tongue. I knew that was your name, but I wasn't sure. Good morning, Gabriella. Thank you. Are you going to um, paint with, with me today, with us? Okay, I'm going to take my really thin liner brush. This is a size one. I, I want this to like kind of be a little thinner down here. Okay. All right. Desiree says, um, those look so difficult to paint. I think you're talking about the hydrangea flowers, right? Hi yeah, I've, <laughs> I've never painted hydrangeas with watercolor, but yeah, they do, it does look quite challenging. There's so many like little tiny flowers. <laughs> I like to make my leaves look um, irregular and squiggly, if that's the right word. I feel like they just look more natural. Desiree says that she just started sketching. And that she should really plan better. <laughs> Joy says, I'm excited to see how it comes out. I am too. I am too. I'm quite nervous. Um, mostly because I'm live right now. <laughs> so I feel like, like I'm not very confident. Um... <laughs> Like painting, I'm just like, oh my gosh, what if I mess up? So hopefully it turns out okay. Marie says, actually, I'll leave my phone on while I'm working in the background. So I'll still be here with you guys, but in the background. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of nice sometimes to put on a live painting video with just like in the background, even if you're not following along, like, like painting along. It's just nice to have that company. Especially now, like, in this time. That's kind of why I started to do these live videos, because I, I just felt like you guys needed some connection. Not, not like, exactly with me, but, like, with other artists. And, and I needed that, too. So, that's kind of why I started to do these live videos. Okay, I think this butterfly is, is um, dry. So let's continue working on him. Okay. So I want this next layer to be the final layer on him um, because we have a lot to paint <laughs> today. And like an hour or two, prob it's probably going to be like more like 
two hours. So um, I'm going to add some more color to him, some more orange. Actually, that this will be the second layer out of three because I'm going to add the um, some more color, let that dry, and then paint on the like dots, his his um dots and details. So I am using Indian yellow. I just put some here. And he is, he's very dark right here, like a dark orange, so I'm adding that in here. Okay, now I'm cleaning my brush and adding just a little bit of water to it. I'm going to blend. Yeah, I want these butterflies to be somewhat detailed, but they're not going to be like super, super detailed or anything. And then there's some dark orange here. Okay, and then um, his like body, it's kind of like a brown. So I will take some of this that's already on my palette. I think it's um, like a mixture of black and burnt umber and going to add a bit more brown to it and it's fairly light I I added a lot of water okay that's going to blend into the orange a lot so All right, I might finish painting that area when that orange is dry. This is one of my struggles with watercolor is like not letting areas dry before adding more color when I should let them dry. <laughs> Anyone else struggle with that? All right, so let's... um. Actually, let's add a little bit of dark orange up here. Okay, let's let that dry and then we will continue working on the leaves. reading some comments <laughs> um let's see here um liz says paint turtles on rocks so so yeah she um paints turtles on rocks that's cool and she says find the exact rock and make it look as real as possible top and bottom and all the sides and end with the tail Wow. So do you use acrylics for that, for painting on rocks? I'm guessing you, you do. I'm guessing that's the paint to use. Okay, I added a little bit too much purple because it's like really dark. <laughs> there, that's better.
Okay. Liz says layers and layers of acrylics, start light, dark light, etc. Okay. So she's, yeah, she's um, talking about her rock turtle paintings. Marie says the turtles, but this turtle is super cute. This is going to look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you guys like this um, painting. I, I could have just made a tutorial with just a turtle, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to make it more interesting than just like a turtle. You know what I mean? So I added the butterflies and these leaves. Hi, Katie. Oh, you're you're from Indiana. Did you tell me that um, before? I I think you told me that. Maybe you messaged me on Instagram, or maybe I'm thinking of the wrong person. <laughs> yes, I am from Indiana. Okay. Hannah says to Desiree, when when I was asked to paint them, oh, she, she was talking about hydrangeas. When she was asked to paint hydrangeas, she was intimidated at first, but she did several sketches and then transferred the best parts of each sketch. <laughs> and then she, she says that she's giving them her second attempt, had to paint it twice. Yeah, sometimes it's like I've, I've had to paint paintings twice. Like, for instance, I don't know if, if you know this, but I have a free watercolor class and, um, and it comes with like a hummingbird tutorial. And my first attempt at that hummingbird was awful. Like, I don't know what, what was wrong with me. Like, I just, I just wanted it to look super realistic, but, but then I'm like, this is for beginners, and I should just make it look, like, like, make it simple, and, um, not so complicated, and it actually, like, I, I did a second attempt, and it actually looked so much better, even though I painted it, like, loosely and, um, simply, and it looked so much better. So sometimes it's it's a good thing to paint, like like do a warm up painting first, and then dive into the actual painting. Katie says, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> and, and she said, Bob Ross said that. 
so true, especially with watercolor. Okay, and there's a leaf right here that I forgot to paint. That's kind of like behind his head. And Okay, there. It's good for now. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and paint in this leaf and then we will finish this butterfly. If you're just joining, uh, there is a link in the description of this video where you can download my sketch and transfer it onto your watercolor paper. And you can paint along with me if you would like. And we have a like goal today. And the reason why I have like goals <laughs> is because it, it just helps my, my YouTube video get found. Um, so our like goal today is 35 likes. And if we get to 35 likes, I will show you a painting. I painted for Jimmy, my, my husband. I painted a painting for him seven years ago when we were dating. <laughs> so I will show you that painting. It's, a, it's an oil painting. I'm going to take my really tiny liner brush, size one. Just kind of blend out the stem. There. All right, so let's continue on with this butterfly. We will finish him. For um, the details, I'm going to use this size zero round brush. And we need a dark black brown color. Okay, I'm reading some more comments for a few seconds. <laughs> um, Gabrielle says, I, I wish I could paint with you today. I'm watching you at work today in between t taking client calls <laughs> and then she she's like shh don't tell anyone Hannah says I really like your tur your turtle sketch I'm sure he's going to to look great I love the idea so cute to have it looking at the butterfly yeah I thought so too Michelle says, hi, hi, Michelle. She says, I appreciate this community. It has been so nice being part of it. Aw, this is, this is exactly what I want. I want you guys to just be a part of a, an artist community and we all can like support each other and help each other out. Um, and that's like another big reason why I decided to do these live videos. Um, because I feel like it really helps bring this community together. Basically because of like the chat, you guys can all like talk to each other. Okay, so I mixed a black and brown together and I don't really want to use too much water because I, I want this to be like dark. Um... And this is going to be like the final layer for this butterfly. So I have the reference photo up here on my tablet. Okay. Oops. I just like got paint on my phone. Oops. I guess that happens sometimes. Uh, 
All right, so the outside of his wings, like on the outer edge, it's dark. I'm just going to start out with like a thin line. Okay. I, um, yeah, I, I don't want him to be super detailed because he is kind of tiny in this painting. I'm concentrating very hard right now, so... <laughs> Um, so I'm not really talking. Um, I'm cleaning my brush and I'm adding a little bit of clean water to it. I kind of just want to blend this. Okay, that didn't really work out. Just ignore that. <laughs> can't really see my pencil marks where his spots are so I'm just going to look at the reference and do the best I can. So basically at each of these lines there's like a um, dark What's the word? <laughs> this is the consequences of live video. I'm just like, what is the word for this? How, how do I explain this? <laughs> it's good practice though. Helps me, um, teach better, or like explain things better. All right, and he has some spots. How are you guys doing with this butterfly? Are any of you um, paint, painting him yet? Or are you still transferring your sketch or painting leaves? <laughs> okay. 
with her. I think I um, didn't get some of these stripes right, but you know what? It's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, I think that, that wing is okay for now. Let's move on to this one. Sarah says that she was painting a butterfly. Okay. I can't see my pencil marks. <laughs> I'm just going to do the best I can. I won't paint in every single spot I see. I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible. Okay, I'm going to read some of your comments. Take a little minute break <laughs> from concentration. Trying to see where I left, it, left off. Um, Joy says, you are my company while I work too. I probably won't be commenting too much more. I have a very busy day ahead, but this life has given me something to look forward to all week. Hey, yeah, that's okay. I'm, I'm glad that you could at least stop in and say hello. Melanie says, I enjoy watching your live video. This is a relaxing and inspiring way to start my day to start my day. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Melanie. Hi, Jerry. And this is Susie, actually. Hi, Susie. <laughs> she, she says, anxious to do this. Thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Liz says, layers and layers of acrylics. Oh, I think I already read this, but she's talking about her um, turtle rock paintings. Okay, I'm, I might say your name wrong. Y Yvonne, Yvonne, I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Hi, and she, she wants to know, what are, what are the colors on your palette? Okay, um, there's a lot of different colors. Hold on. Okay, so this is basically the um, professional set from Windsor Newton. So a lot of these, that's what all of these are here. And then I also have some here. And then these like right here and here and like here, all of these are like handmade colors from Poems About You on Etsy and KMS Watercolor on Etsy. And then these three colors here are from the Pastel Dreams pan set. I just have them in here because I was using them along with these colors for something. 
And then this is a gray from the Classics pan set from Art Philosophy that I just have in here for some reason. <laughs> so I hope that answered your question. Desiree says that she, she finished, I, I finished my turtle sketch wondering if I should make something around it. Okay, um, around it. So are, are you like doing a different turtle? Like a different composition? All right, let's continue on with this butterfly. All right, so I am going to take this brown again, and this time I'm going to add a little bit more water to make it um, a little lighter. And I think I'm just going to paint in his, like where his body is with this. And then it shows some of his like body under the swing here. And I'm cleaning my brush and I'm adding a little bit of clean water. And just blending a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to paint in his spots or whatever lines <laughs> on the swing. Okay. I'm just kind of painting them in loosely. Okay, now I'm going to Grab some red, so this is Windsor red, and going to mix it a little bit with Indian yellow. Because he has a little bit of like red in him like down here at the base of his wing. So I'm just going to add a little bit here. Okay, now I'm cleaning my brush and I'm adding a little bit of clean water to it. This is just how I blend <laughs> a lot of the time. And I'm going to add some here. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit here and up here. All right, and then now I'm going to take some black and some brown, like burnt umber. And I'm going to make him stand out a little bit more. I'm going to add some of this here. Kind of 
kind of blend that a little bit. I'm also going to add some of this on his spots that I have that I already painted just to kind of darken them a little bit. Okay, I think this is good. Um, I think we should move on. <laughs> so this live stream isn't like three hours like the last two. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and... Um, hmm. I think, I think we will paint this butterfly next. And then we will work on the turtle. So this butterfly, there's a reference photo linked in the description. And I think this is called a peacock butterfly. Am I, am I right with that, if anyone knows? <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and read a few comments. Okay, trying to see where I left off. <laughs> Mary Ann Foster. Hi, Mary. She she says, hi from Blue Jay Mary. Love this. Coming in late. That's okay. I'm glad that, that you're here. If you want to paint along, there is a link in the description of this video for my sketch that you can transfer on your watercolor paper. And there are, are also links to reference photos. Crystal. Hey, Crystal. She says, what? about the watercolor pan sets you use. Windsor & Newton, any pros and cons you can say in your perspective. Um, I, yeah, I, I use the Windsor & Newton professional pan set and I, I really like them. I do, I really like them, I'm impressed by them and I would recommend them. I, I haven't really used their other paints, which are like student grade. I think they're called Cotman. I do have a few of those, but I, I also hear great things about, about um, those paints too. I hope, I hope that answers your question. Hi, hi Galetta. Oh my gosh, I hope I, hope I said your name right. Galetta? How much time do you wait for the layers to get dry to do another one? I I wait until they are completely dry. So like if they're dry to the touch, then I um, start the next layer. All right, so let's get started on this butterfly. How are you guys doing? Are you ready for this one, for this next butterfly? Okay, so. I'm looking at this butterfly, the reference photo, and like the other butterfly, I just want to keep this like super simple, um, mostly because this turtle here, I want him to be the focus, so um, I don't want to like go all out on this butterfly with detail, and also because it's really tiny, so it's hard to paint like super detailed when it's already like really teeny tiny. We have a lot of like browns and reds. Okay, trying to think here what I wanna, how I wanna go about this. Um, okay, let's start with his top two wings here and we will try to do maybe wet on wet. So I'm going to use this size four round brush. 
I'm going to have some red on my palette already, but it is kind of saturated. Like it's very vibrant. I want this to be kind of a deeper red. So let's add some, maybe add some brown, like a red brown. Or like burnt umber, just a little bit. Okay. So that kind of dulled this red a little bit. So that's kind of what I want. And I'm first, I, I want to leave the areas where he's not red. Um, like blank. I don't want to paint over those areas. So up here, um, he, he has some blue and yellow. So let's not paint those. And then he has like some like little spots here. Little blue spots. <laughs> So let's leave those white. And then he is brown kind of right here. So let's um, now take some brown. I'm using kind of like a reddish brown. Let's just drop some right here and it kind of blends into the red a little bit. That's what we want. And then on the outside of his wing, okay, my red is kind of dry already. That's okay, let's go ahead and paint in the brown. Okay. We are like on the ugly stage of painting right now. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. So let's do this other wing. Hi, Aditi. How are you doing? She just um, started her YouTube channel, guys. Isn't that exciting? Okay, and like the other wing, I'm trying to leave the areas where it's not red, um, like not paint over those. Okay, now I'm grabbing that brown again. Okay, my red is already drying. So it's, it's okay. I am cleaning 
brush and I'm just going to kind of blend this out a little bit because it's it's kind of looking a little harsh <laughs> Ray says, that deep red is so pretty. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so there are some like blue, like a light blue. And there is some yellow or like a goldish, goldish color. I'm, I'm going to take this like really tiny round size zero brush. And let's go ahead and paint the blue areas of his top two wings. Marie says, I love the yellow orange butterfly. Thanks. Yeah, I, I like it too. Um, <laughs> I, I could definitely spend a lot more time on it, but you know, I don't want this live stream to be super long <laughs> like the last two. <laughs> okay, so this blue is kind of like up here. So I'm just going to lay some blue here. And here. And like between this brown and blue, there's black. So keep that in mind, but black, I don't really worry about keeping the areas that are black white because I can just cover up what I need to. Like it, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. And I'm gonna add some of this blue here and here. And when this is dry, I'm going to go back in with some red and touch this up a little bit. And So let's, let's wait for this blue to dry and we will add more detail and make it look better. <laughs> and there is some yellow. And it's, it's like a light yellow, like a light gold yellow. Um... I'm going to use this yellow here that I used for the other butterfly. And there's like a black area here. So this right here will be painted black. There's some yellow here. <laughs> okay. How are you guys doing? Are you um, on this butterfly now? I'm going to take a minute break and read some more of your comments. Hi, Sydney. Sydney says, good morning. Ready to paint along to another video. Fantastic work. I can't wait to see the finished results. Yay. I hope that you enjoy this um, live tutorial. 
I hope that <laughs> this painting turns out well. I think it will. Um, I'm excited. Mer Mary says, happy spring. Turtle looks like he's smiling. He sure is smiling. <laughs> Liz says, done working on leaves. All right. Are you, are you, um, on the butterflies now? I know you, you commented this like 20 minutes ago, so you probably are. Gabrielle says, I hold my breath in watching you paint those lines on the butterfly. You're so graceful. I would have been, uh, shoot, darn, there's the paper, where's the paper towel? <laughs> yes, it, I was concentrating very, very carefully. <laughs> it's just so hard painting a small. Um, yeah, it's, it's so hard. And also I'm live, so <laughs> it's very nerve wracking. Sarah says, I am painting a butterfly. Awesome. Mary says, everyone, doesn't Allison have the most calming, soft voice? <laughs> Thank you for sharing all your talent. Oh, well, I'm glad you like my voice. I know that I kind of sound like a little girl, but you know, it's, there's nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> but I, I'm glad that you find my voice calming. And Gabrielle agrees <laughs> with her. Um, Sarah says, not a very steady hand. So so you've been having trouble painting the butterfly with your hand? Yeah, my hand is like shaky a lot of the time during these lives because I am like really nervous. Um, hi, hi, Linnea, how are you? She says, oh, this looks beautiful, thanks. Desiree says, my turtle is a different picture in composition. Awesome. I can't wait to, to see how yours turn, turns out. Hannah says, what is your favorite size painting to paint? Are your prints usually the same size as your originals? What is the largest size you can scan into your computer? Wow, these are good questions. So my favorite size of painting to paint would be um, 8 by 10 and in like a square, like eight by eight. So those those are like my favorite sizes to paint. Um, and my print sizes are usually around the same size as my painting. Some, sometimes I go a size smaller or a size bigger, but if I paint like really tiny, like a five by seven painting, I, I only make that up to eight by 10 print. If I make it any larger than that, then it just doesn't look that that right because it's like a really tiny painting blown up large and then she wants to know um I had to find the comment she she wants to know what is the largest size you can scan into your computer um well the largest size my scanner can scan is I believe 9 by 12 um, but I, I can scan a large painting by, like if it's larger than 9, nine by 12, by um, scanning multiple um, scans and then bringing that into Photoshop and and like stitching them together. Like, like there's, um, I won't get into that, but there's, like you, you can stitch photos together in Photoshop. Okay, let's continue on. Next, we will um, work on his lower two wings. And he looks like he's more brown, less red. So I'm going to take my size four round brush. And I'm going to take this um, red that I used for his top wings. And it looks like he's only red, like right here. So I'm, I'm going to paint that in here and then there. Okay, now I'm taking, like I'm cleaning my brush and I'm going to take some brown. Kind of the same that we used on his upper two wings. 
and I'm trying to paint this while the red is still a little wet so that they can blend into each other a little bit. When this is dry, I might have to go back into the red. And actually, I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> I'm taking some red and I'm adding some more while this is still wet, just to make it a little bit more vibrant. Okay. Now I'm taking this brown again. And he's basically brown all over here. And then he has a spot here that has a little bit of, it looks like it's some blue and purple maybe. I just realized I have a really pretty red I wanted to use that I forgot. Here, I'll show you. It's this glittery red. It's from KMS Watercolor on Etsy. So, I think I'm just going to add some of this on top. Of the red I already painted. Who here likes gl glittery and <laughs> shimmery paints? I love them. So we'll wait for that to dry, and actually, I'm, I'm going to read a few of your comments. I'm kind of behind on, on them. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see where I left off. Marie says... To Mary, totally agree. First video I watched of Allison's, I'm pretty sure I said that too, along with how amazing her studio was. <laughs> so I think she, she's talking about my voice. <laughs> Mary says, love, love, love the red with the brown. I agree. I, I love red and brown together. They're pretty. De Desiree says, just finished sketching. Now start painting. Yay! Marie says, the deep red is so pretty. Oh, I think I read that already. <laughs> Aditi says, cute turtle. I agree, he's very cute. Mary says, um, she, she's responding to Marie. I did the same thing. I'm so happy I have found her. Aw, you guys are like so sweet. Um, and Dee, Dee says, I feel like recreating each and every art of yours. It's so lovely. It has a beautiful vibe to it. Thank you. Yeah, um, Aditi, she emailed me, um, some photos of, of art that she did of recreating, like she, she recreated some of my paintings and I was just like really touched by that. 
and uh, she did a really good job too. All right, now for this butterfly, we have some, I think it's like a, the same blue here, or maybe it's a little bit of purple. So I have on my palette, um, some like, like a, a light purple. So I'm going to add that here. And then around this is going to be black because, um, as you can probably see in the reference photo, there's like a black spot here. And then on these top, on the top wings, like in these circles, like here and here, it's red. So let's go ahead and paint that in. And I think I'm just going to use this pretty red glitter paint. I have a lot of water in my brush. <laughs> okay. Um, and now let's paint his body. So he's, he's like brown and black and he has some like warm browns and golds. So let's get some brown. Let's start out with like this warm brown. This is um, called Red Earth from Poems About You. Okay, um, I'm cleaning my brush, adding a little bit of clean water to it. And I'm going to bring some of this on his wing. Because <laughs> this part of his wing is like brown too. And I'm going to darken his body a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of black. Okay, I think that's fine for now. I'll probably add some more paint when that's dry. And I'm going to take some of this, where is it? This red, this glittery red. I'm going to add some here. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish these details. We're going to paint in the black details now, and I'm going to use a size zero round brush.
So he has some black here. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Someone was calling me. All right, and I'm cleaning my brush and I'm adding a little bit of water and I'm just going to blend this black into the colors around it to make it look soft. And um, I'm going to outline him a little bit with black. It's so hard to paint a really tiny butterfly. Are any of you having trouble? Make all the detail. It's a lot easier to paint butterflies when like when they're larger. Okay, now I'm cleaning my brush, adding a little water to it, blending. Now let's um, work on this, his bottom two wings and around the purple is black. Okay, now I'm cleaning my brush and adding a little bit of clean water to it to blend. Around the black. Okay, and I'll blend a little bit into the purple too. And then we're going to do the same thing with this other spot.
Okay, and I'm going to take some black again. And his spots, there's like, you know, little tiny dots. So I'm just going to add a little bit. And, um, and then he has some black, like right here. And some right here. I'm kind of blending this black into the red. Now I am taking some more black and going to outline his wings. And take note that his wings are like jagged a little bit. As you can see, um, some are like, some areas are like pointy. Okay, um, <laughs> I just realized I forgot to paint in his antenna here. Oops, um, so I'm just grabbing some like black, brown, towards the tip of his antennas they're a little thicker Okay, and I'm going to take some black and I'm going to, to darken a little bit of his like body in some areas. Can I add more depth? And I'm going to, to take a little bit more black. And, um, and the blue and the yellow up here, there are some like little black spots. So I'm just going to add a little bit. And then there's some black that I forgot to paint, like right here. Oh, and I forgot to paint this in. There's some black. Right there.
I think I'm going to take some of this red. And paint around these blue spots. Kind of make it more, like, look nicer. It looks a little... I don't know. <laughs> okay. I think I'm done for now. I think we should move on to the turtle. Um, so that this live isn't super long. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling it's going to be long again. So let's um, move on to the turtle and let me know in the chat or in the comments how you're doing. How's it going? Are you, are you ready for the turtle now? And um, I'm going to take a minute break and catch up on some of your comments. Jessa wants to know what is the name of that darker blue in your palette? I want to get that color. Darker blue. Um, let's see. Are you talking about this one? Okay, I'll just go through all my blues, my dark blues. So this is called Mayan Blue, and it's from Poems About You. And the one on the first row. This one? <laughs> um, this is Cerulean Blue. This is Windsor Blue. Yeah, so, so this is Cerulean Blue and this is Windsor Blue. Um, yeah, this, this one here, yeah, this one's very beautiful. It's, it's from the professional set. I don't know if, if they have a student grade one that's exactly like this or not. But yeah, it's like really pretty. Read some of your comments. I lost where I was at. <laughs> um, Aditi says, I ran out of stock of my watercolor paper. Oh no, that sucks. <laughs> Do you buy your art supplies online or at a store? I, I buy mine from Blick or from Amazon. Miri says, random question, if I wanted to cheat, which yes, I do, could I use watercolor paper in my printer? Good question. Um, You can, but... It depends how thick your paper is. So some printers won't like feed through a very thick paper. I mean, you can give it a try, um, but just keep in mind that <laughs> like it might not work out if, if your printer can't handle um, how thick your paper is. And also, if you do this, you might want to wait a day or a while for your ink to dry before adding like watercolors to it and paint because it might um you, you might wet like re-wet the ink and it, it'll smear um how is the lighting does it look a little dark i can um bring some more lights or bring my lights closer Maybe that's better. Okay. Oops, sorry guys. It's 
card. Okay. Let me bring up the reference photo for the turtle. Oh my gosh, I'm so behind on comments. I'm like a half hour behind. I'm sorry. Let me let me just read through these and you guys can get ready uh, um, to paint the turtle. Liz says, done with butterflies. We'll paint turtle tonight. It's off to work I go. Well, I'm glad that, that you can join for the butterflies. Hope you have a good day at work. And then she says, I shared your tutorial on, on Facebook about 20 minutes ago. Hopefully my friends will like, will like you can share your painting. Thank you, Liz. That means a lot. Sarah says, the painting is looking beautiful. Thank you. Edidi says, wow, beautiful red. Yeah, I think you're talking about this glittery red. It's so beautiful. It's from KMS. Watercolor. Um, let's see. Al um, K Kitty says, Allison, have you taken college level art classes? I have. Um, I, I was an art major for like two years and that's where I learned how to paint like with oils and stuff. Um, but yeah, I won't, I won't get, get into that, but yeah, I have. Uh, let's see. Mary says to print out the reference photo not the whole painting. Oh, okay, so you're wanting to know if you can print out the reference photo. Yes, you can. Um, yeah, okay. And then Hannah says, my biggest downfall with watercolors is getting too detailed. And I go, and I got, got to say that painting butterflies is hard because you want to put all those details in. Yes, I, especially when you paint small, you don't want to paint super detailed. So that's kind of why I'm trying to keep these butterflies somewhat simple. Desiree says, having dinner for a bit. I don't think I will have this painting finished before the end of the stream. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I could spend hours and hours on this painting. Okay, I'll read a few more and then we'll get started on the turtle. Desiree says, how big are, how big are you painting today? I am painting on nine, nine by 12 piece of watercolor paper, but my painting is going to be the size of eight by 10 inches. Okay. Um, oh, I think I'm all caught up on comments. That Desiree says, that's my biggest fear, running out of paper. <laughs> yeah, I always make sure that I, I have paper, like extra paper, um, so I never have, so I never run out. Okay, so let's get started on this turtle. Um, and um, there's a, a reference photo of the turtle in the description. Okay, and I, I see a lot of like blues in him and browns and black, um, and then there's some like golds, and I am going to use the size 8 round brush from Princeton Neptune. And first, let's do like a layer of light, like a light color layer. And then we'll let that dry and then add some more color and detail. So let's first start on his head here. Okay, let me mix some colors. I am going to take some black. And a little bit of blue. I will use this Mayan blue. It's called Mayan blue from Poems About You. It's like a really dark blue. So it's this color is 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 like a 
greenish blue color that we'll start out with. And try to paint very light, so um, a lot of water. Because he has some highlights. And I kind of want those highlights to be like this very light blue. Okay, and then he has some yellow, actually. Oops. He has some yellow, like, un like on his, under his chin. I kind of painted right here, too, and that's supposed to be yellow, but it's okay. So I'm leaving, oops, sorry. <laughs> so I, I'm leaving this area here. I'm leaving some of it white because... That's where I want to paint the yellow that I see. All right, and for the yellow, I I'm going to use the same yellow. Oops. Okay. Let me just mix some fresh yellow. It's um, Windsor yellow with, I, I guess it's just Windsor yellow, but I'm adding a lot of water. And yeah, let's add a touch of brown. Okay, he has some yellow here, <laughs> um, yeah, it's bleeding into the blue, hold, hold on just a second, I'll fix that, okay, <laughs> can you hear my stomach growl, I'm like getting hungry, <laughs> all right, That's okay for now. We'll, um, we'll add some more detail when that's dry. Now let's paint his um, leg with the same blue. Desiree says, I need stream snacks. I do. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, it's like lunchtime for me. When I was um, planning out this painting, I was thinking of adding some mushrooms around him too, but then I scratched that idea because I just felt like it already had a lot, like I wanted to keep this stream, this live stream, like not so long, but I, I like the idea of adding mushrooms around him. And okay, that's fine for now. Okay. So his um, shell, it has some like blues, basically the same as his skin, but I want it to be very light for now, like his um, skin and stuff. So I have like this, you can't even see, sorry, um, light gray blue color. And I have a lot of water. So I'm just going to paint in his entire shell. 
with this. And then I will drop in some blues in other colors that I see in his shell. And I want it to be very light because I want to see my pencil marks underneath. And I want this very light color to be the highlight color. Okay, making sure it's wet. Now I'm going to drop in some blue. Here and there. And I'm going to drop in some green too. Um, I'm going to drop in some sap green. This will kind of bring him together with the rest of the painting like with the leaves and stuff, it's kind of like the leaves reflecting off of his shell. Okay, I think that's good for now. And underneath here, he has some like yellow um, and some like spots. <laughs> so let's take some of this yellow. This is like Windsor yellow mixed with a little bit of brown. Let's just paint that in all, all of his underneath side. And then on top, when this is dry, we will paint his spots because they're like dark. Okay. While we are waiting for him to dry, let's paint in the leaves. How are you guys doing? How's it going? Are you enjoying the tutorial so far? I know it's long, again. <laughs> I tried. I tried to make it not long. <laughs> but it's okay. So yeah, I'm mixing sap green with a little bit of purple. And it's light, it has a lot of water. Desiree says, I am curious who is painting a turtle too. Yeah, who here is, is, um, wow, I can't talk. <laughs> who here is, um, working on this with us? Okay, I'm taking my um, liner brush, size one. I'm going to drag the stem a little bit, make it fade. It 
Desiree says my reference shows a lot of detail in the pattern of in the pattern of the turtle. Yeah, my mine too. It has a lot of detail and he has like a lot of wrinkles and stuff. But I'm going to try to keep it simple and easy. Um So I'm not going to paint in every single detail I see. I might go back in later after the stream and like add more detail to his painting and stuff. Desiree says, I don't know if I will manage to paint at all. So, um, I know you're painting. Are, are you painting a different turtle? I think you are, right? I can't remember if that's you or Hina. Um, are you also, like, painting butterflies and stuff with it? That's right, and I, we are in the process of making a Facebook group for nature artists. Um, I haven't really told anyone yet. I don't think she has either, <laughs> but we, um, we're still kind of figuring out the details, but it is created. If any of you are interested in joining it, um, I don't have the link for it, unfortunately. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's just called Nature Artists. So, um, yeah, I can share more details about that later. Melanie says, it's looking great. Good. I feel like right now the turtle is looking a little, um, sad looking. But, you know, we're in the ugly stage. So, it's all good. I'm leaving a little sliver of white in between these leaves. I like to do that sometimes. Just to kind of make them like make them stand out a little bit. Mixing more green. Mary says, adding this to my faves so I can refer back. Want to, want to do for my grandson Roman's bathroom. We have a pet turtle that he will miss. But they recently bought their first house, so turtle is staying here. Oh, yeah, I feel like this, this would be really cute for... Um, for a bathroom, especially for your grandson. Desiree says, I enjoy the long one so I can paint something too. <laughs> yeah, I do want to try to make um, the next lives a little shorter. They go by so fast, don't they? Like, here I am painting away with you guys, and then before I know it, it's like two hours later, and I'm not, I'm not even like done yet. It's like, wow, really? Has it really been two hours? Yeah, it's it's been two hours now. Crazy. Are we close to our like goal? I don't, I don't think I can. I don't see how many likes we have. Like it's not updating on my tablet. Our like goal is 35, 35 likes. Okay. 
Katie says, I'm working on a goldfinch. Cute. Desiree says, I added, I have added a foxtail and buttercup flower around him and some grass. I want to add a circle with color and a grid and a gold border behind it and on the butterfly I'm still debating. Wow. That sounds amazing, Desiree. I like the idea of using gold. Then she says, I, I can link the Facebook group if you want to. Yeah, I don't think you, you can put links in the chat, but you, I, I think you can in the comments, um, if you wanted to add that in the comment sec, in the comment section. Yeah, I don't think you can add links in the YouTube chat. I think YouTube blocks links. Melanie says, I struggle with the ugly phase of the water of watercolor. Sometimes it can be difficult to find ways to add to add more details. Yeah, I I struggle with the ugly phase too. It's it's definitely hard to get through. Cause you're like, oh no, am I messing up my painting? It looks awful. And then you kind of don't really feel like working on it because it's still ugly. And you're scared that it's not going to turn out nice. Oh, my stomach keeps growling. <laughs> I'm hungry. Desiree says, yeah, time flies. And she sees that we have 27 likes. Okay. We have to get eight more. Eight more likes. And I will show you guys. A painting I painted Jimmy when we were dating about seven years ago and yeah it's a pretty painting it's one of my favorites I've ever painted it's like a, a landscape like a very pretty landscape Jessa says, I'm loving the turtle so far. Yay! Yeah, I mean, I am too. But I can't wait to make him look better. <laughs> Desiree says, have, have to copy and paste the link. Okay, yeah, Desiree is going to put the link to the Facebook group in the comments. Um, it's a nature artist Facebook group that we, or that, that she, um, recently created. All right, so he is um, basically dry, at least his head. So let's go ahead and work on, on his head and like his eye. And okay.
All right, let's work on his eyes. So I'm going to use this um, size zero round brush and I'm going to grab some black. Desiree, oh wait, hold on. Desiree just said something. Hi, Marie. Um, she said, I posted it, the, the link above that. Is that not visible? Above that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, what you mean. Did, did he post it like in the comments, not, not the chat? So I'm going to paint in the pupil, his, his pupil, and it's kind of like a little sliver. It kind of reminds me of like a cat eye, but like instead of um, vertical, it's hor horizontal, like a horizontal sliver. Okay, that does says that she she posted the Facebook group link in the chat. Okay, hold on, it disappeared. And um, and then the set the sentence have to copy and paste the link, but apparently you guys are not seeing the link. So um, <clears throat> you you can't put links in the in the chat. You have to do it like in the comment section of the video. Um, because you, YouTube blocks links in the chat. Oh, <laughs> she, she can't, you guys can't see the comment section yet. Okay. Yeah. You'll, you'll have to do it later then. Like once this video is done and, and after it renders, um, which will probably take a whole day because it, Usually videos this long takes maybe 12 hours to like process and then you'll be able to see the comment section. Okay, um, let me grab some black. And then I'll paint in the color of his eye when this black is um, dry. some like wrinkles around his eye. He's so wrinkly, isn't he? So wrinkly. <laughs> Then he has like a, a little nostril here and then yeah, I'm just adding some wrinkles around his eye. Okay, now I am taking my size four round brush. Let's add some more detail to him and hopefully this is like the last main layer. Okay. 
know if you look at the reference photo, it's super overwhelming because there's a ton of detail. There's a ton of like wrinkles and um, yeah, just it's overwhelming. So I'm going to try to make this simple. Um, I'm grabbing some black. Here, I'll show you. And I, where should I put it? I'll put it here. Mix it with some blue on my palette. But this time I'm just going to use mainly black. I'm nervous. <laughs> Anyone else nervous to paint him? Okay. There's some black, like, right here, right underneath his smile. And then some here. Now I'm cleaning my brush. <clears throat> and adding some clean water to it. Just kind of making this soft, a little bit more soft. Okay. Okay, okay. And this is overwhelming. <laughs> I hope he turns out okay. There's like a stripe here. Okay. I think that's fine. And then he is like really dark here. I'm blending now. And there's a little bit of yellow here, like light yellow, so I'm keeping that. And he has, there, there's some highlights, so I want to be sure I keep some of that light blue that we first painted with. And I'm going to paint the top of his head. Okay. Okay. And around his eye, I'm going to add some of this black, but now it's kind of, it's kind of a gray now on my palette. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? I think that's okay. I think that's good. Okay, I'm going to take this really tiny round size zero brush and I'm going to paint the color in his eye and it's kind of like a yellow, like a yellow color. So I'm going to use that same color we used for the butterfly
there. And when that's dry, I might go in with some white gouache and add like a little highlight. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my stomach growling or not. It's just kind of awkward. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, how, how are you guys doing? Are you um, painting a turtle yet? Desiree says, um, I am painting on artist paper for the first time. Every brush stroke gives me gray hairs. <laughs> yes, I know it can be stressful painting on like really nice watercolor paper because you're afraid you'll mess up. <laughs> I know how that is. I hope you're liking it. I love Arches paper. Okay, you can't hear my stomach. That's good. I'm glad. I'm, yeah. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm like really hungry right now. Okay, let's um, move on to his foot or his leg and then we will um, paint in his shell. So his foot is going to be a lot like how he painted his head. Um, so I'm going to take black and It's, it's, um, I do, I add enough water to make it just not too dark, but also not too light. Okay. Whew. Now, um, he has like a wrinkle here and... Okay, let's just, let's just do it. So it's, his, his leg is like dark up here and dark here and then his toes and then underneath. Okay, now I'm cleaning my brush adding some clean water and I'm just going to blend this black a little bit into this light blue I want to keep some of that light blue um, for the hi for like a highlight so I'll try not to paint over his whole entire foot because you want some of that light blue to show Um, I'm going to take this size zero round brush, take some black, I'm going to kind of add some more detail. All right, I think that's okay for now. His foot is a little darker than his, his head, but that's okay because I'll add some more black, um, some areas on his head to kind of make him um, stand out or like look like to give him, to give him some more depth. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Now let's um, paint his shell. I'm going to take my size eight round brush. And I want to, um, 
pink, some black. It has a good amount of water in it, so it's not too dark. It's like 50% water, 50% paint. So, um, and the, what's the word, crevices of his shell, they're like darker. Um, so let's start there. Let's just paint in some of those. Okay, now I'm cleaning my brush. I'm just kind of blending this black. Oops, I'm kind of, okay. I don't want to blend this too much. I want that, I want the color underneath. Like, I, I don't want to, <laughs> what am I trying to say? I, I want to keep the color underneath in some areas. Alright, so my phone is like really low in battery. I'm going to plug it in. I'll be back in like a few seconds. Okay, it's going to shake for a minute. Hold on. Okay. I'm reading some of your comments. Marie says, wow, the turtle has has turned out. So cute. Thank you. Yeah, he's looking. He's looking really nice. Jessa says, you should have little snacks on the side so you can eat while you read comments or something. I know. I, I do need to bring some snacks when I do these live streams. That would be nice. I'll, I'll remember that for next time. And she says, the turtle looks great. The head looks so realistic. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I was kind of worried how this would turn out because I've never painted a turtle like this. And um, yeah, I was scared. I still am kind of scared. Joy says, it's coming out so good. Thank you. Marie says, um, I know, right? <laughs> and then Sarah says, the painting is looking great. Thanks, guys. I hope you're liking this tutorial. Okay, so let's continue on with this shell. I have this um, black again. And this, let's just paint in the crevices first, loosely. And then, like I did a little earlier, I, wow, um, <laughs> I can't talk. I'm getting tired. These streams make me tired. Um, I'll, I'll blend this black a little bit, like we did. Okay. Now I'm cleaning my brush, and, oops, sorry, guys. I'm going to blend. Just a little bit.
Okay. I don't know um, if you guys know, but I am going to be hosting a 30 day butterfly painting challenge soon. I, I talked about this a little bit on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd let you know. It's going to start in a few weeks. So the um, second week of May. And I'm thinking it's going to be, I, I know Desiree and someone else mentioned this to me. To, to do the challenge, like, like have it be um, 15 butterflies in 30 days. So you have two days per butterfly, and I thought that was a really good idea. So yeah, I think that's, that's going to be for the Love Nature Art Challenge for May. Um, so if, if you're new here and you don't know, I do a monthly art challenge. And so I'm thinking for me, it's, it's going to be that butterfly challenge. So yeah, what do you guys think? I'm really excited about it. I can't wait. I keep thinking about it. And <laughs> I want to start it sooner, but I am launching my first ever beginner watercolor course next week. So I, I'm just, it's been a lot of work and I'm really stressed out about that. <laughs> um, but once that's over, um, I'm going to feel a lot better and ready to paint 15 butterflies. So I'll keep you updated. And um, I, I am taking butterfly ideas. So if you have any like specific butterflies you want to be for the challenge, let me know. Okay. So yeah, I'm just kind of adding some more black here and there kind of to make, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so just to like, give more depth to his shell. And it's not going to be like super realistic. Um, his shell is going to be kind of loosely painted. I feel like I need to add some more grays. Okay, I'll let this layer dry and then I'll probably add some more color to a shell and some more black to give it more, wow, I keep saying that word, to give it more depth. <laughs> okay, let's paint that underneath part. Um, he has some spots, so I'm going to take the same black I've been painting with. And there's a spot here. And then let's just add one here. There. It's, it's not going to be like realistic looking really. More loosely. Loosely painted. Okay. Let's finish his head. Oops, I'm sorry. I keep hitting my cord, my charging cord for my phone. <laughs> I am taking my really teeny tiny, so 
size zero round brush and some black. Now his shell is wet, so I need to keep that in mind. I don't want my hand to like sit on his shell. So I'm going to paint kind of awkwardly. And I'm going to paint in his wrinkles a little bit more, kind of define them. Don't want to overdo it though. It's really easy to like overwork your painting. All right. Now I'm taking my size four round brush in black. Oh, he is leaving. Um, okay. Well, I'm I'm glad that you are that that you could pop in for a long time. You're here like most of the time. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, Hannah. I am going to add some more black, like right here. And I'm going to add some more black up here, top of his head. Okay. There, I think his head is done. I think, I think it's done. We're getting there, guys. We are getting there. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to add more detail to his foot, although maybe I'll, I'll add some more wrinkles. So I'm taking a really tiny brush with black. Okay, I think that's good. And I kind of want to make him look like he's smiling. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe I just messed this up. Hold on. All right, I'm taking some water and I'm like, there. All right, I don't wanna mess him up. Let's move on. How are you guys doing with the turtle? Hope you're having fun. If you're still here, if you've been here the whole time so far, comment in the chat or in the comments below in the video. Let me know if you've been here the whole time. Way to go. We've been live for like two and a half hours. Can't believe it. Read some of your comments. Desiree says, are you going to make a list or can we pick ourselves? Um, she's, she's talking about the butterfly challenge. Um, I, I was thinking I would do a prompt list, but I mean, if you, if you want to like do your own butterfly, that that's okay too. That's fine. 
But yeah, I was thinking of like doing a prompt list for, for you guys. And bye, Desiree. Oh. Oh, wait, you're, you're not leaving. You, you were saying bye to Hannah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then she, she says, even my brain is shutting down. <laughs> yeah, my, my brain is shutting down. But we're almost done. We're almost done with this painting. Um, Marie says, wow, I'm loving the details. Thank you. Yeah, he's turning out a lot better than I thought he would. I'm really, really happy with it so far. Jessa says she has been here the whole time. Wow. Thank you, Jessa. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. Um, and, and she says it's been fun. Awesome. Marie says she's still here too. Yay. And Desiree. Wow, guys. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's finish this up. And how are we on our light goal? Maybe I should make the light goal um, not so not so high next time. Maybe just 30 likes. Are we to 35 likes yet? All right, let me, we're still at 27, okay. All right, that's fine. Yeah, next time I'll, I'll make the like goal lower. Maybe I'm just too optimistic. <laughs> okay. Let's add some more blue to a shell. So I'm using this Mayan blue from Poems About You. It's this blue here. Okay. And I'm just going to add some here and there. Yeah, I'm taking some water in my brush. Blending this blue a little bit. And I'm thinking that I might add some gold. I have this gold here from Metallic Accents. It's linked below in the description, um, but I use this all the time, I feel like. <laughs> and I'll also add this to this butterfly here and this other butterfly. So let's add a little bit of this gold. And I feel like this will kind of help bring this painting together, like make it look more cohesive because um, there's gold in this butterfly and this one. I think there's some yellow. I'll probably add some to the leaves too. All right, and I'm going to add some green. So this is the same green as the leaves. It's like a mixture of, sorry, I just got paint on my hand, hold on. Okay, it's like a mixture of sap green and purple. I'm just going to add a little bit here and there.
All right. I think I'm done with the shelf for now, at least for this live stream. I might um, add some more to it later. I just, I know this live stream is going to be long. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and I'm going to, let me add some black down here. So I'm taking some black. Okay. And now I am going to finish off these leaves and I think this might be the final thing we do. Hey, who's excited? Who's excited guys? <laughs> okay, let me read some comments. Um, Desiree says, you definitely deserve 35 likes and more. Thank you. Thank you, Desiree. Jessa says the turtle looks amazing. I love it. Thank you. I love it too. I'm so happy with it. All right, I'm taking this size four round brush and I'm going to make it a darker green. Um, D Desiree says that she thinks she needs another three hours to work on this painting. <laughs> Oh, I totally agree with you there. I feel like I can work on this painting like way longer than this live stream. So to make a dark, like a darker green, I am going to um, make sap green. And then kind of like the other shade of green, like the lighter shade, um, Oh, Claire just joined. She she said, of course, oh, of course, come at the end. <laughs> yes, it is towards the end. We're almost done. But you know what? I'm glad that, that you can at least pop in for a little bit, even if it's the end. I'm glad you're here, Claire. It's nice to see you. So yeah, I'm just mixing sap green with some purple. And I added a little bit more purple than... I did for this lighter shade just to make it darker and then I'm trying to use less water too. Okay. Oh no. Do you guys hear that? That's Leo. Leo is wanting inside my studio <laughs> he's like scratching at the door okay um joyce says yay amazing job thank you and susie hi susie she says looks great mine not so much lol <laughs> that's okay i think we're just hard on ourselves sometimes okay so i'm just adding this dark green to these leaves, um, basically just on one side and then blending with some water. Claire says, L love this, the colors are so beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, I used um, a lot of Windsor Newton colors for this. I thought I would use Decadent Pies pan set a lot, but I didn't, surprisingly. Okay, I'm gonna add some more dark green here. And since I added dark green here, for this leaf, I'm going to add some here.
Jessa says, Leo, he's the most beautiful cat. <laughs> he is. I adore him so much. He keeps me company. Melanie says, LOL, Leo's my son's name. <laughs> he distracts me from doing work too. <laughs> and Jessa says, Ha ha, that is everything. I think she's responding to Melanie's comment. Marie says, yay, he's turned out really beautiful and the butterflies and leaves. My favorite part of the painting is definitely adding details. Love it. Great job, Allison. Thank you. Yeah, I would say my favorite part of painting is details too, like the final step and like adding the final touches. I say that's my favorite part. What about you guys? What's your favorite part? Is it the details? <laughs> Okay, let's leave back here. That's like behind him. I'm just gonna paint it all dark. Okay, I need to mix more green. Sarah says, are you going to turn this painting into a sticker or a, or a print? I'm not sure. Um, maybe a sticker. I feel like a sticker would be cute. I'll turn it into a print if I sell the original. I try not to make prints of my paintings until I sell the original painting. Um, so yeah, I might. We'll see. Marie says, P.S. Not long till you can go and, wait, not, not long until you can go and your lunch and have a nice hot beverage and nap. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm def definitely eating lunch after this. Probably a nap. <laughs> Most definitely. Okay, this green is a lot darker than the previous green that I mixed. So I might have to go back into those other leaves and add some more dark green to make this look more cohesive. All about art. Welcome. How are you doing? They say, just awesome. Thank you. Marie says, Leo is so cute. <laughs> he is. He's so honorary though sometimes. <laughs> I adore him though. Claire says, I like the blending, but can get too into it. 
Oh yeah, that's me. I can definitely get lost into blending and then I mess things up and then I overwork my painting. Yep, I am a victim to that. Marie says, oh my gosh, it'll be cute as a sticker. <laughs> yes, I agree. I feel like this would be cute as a sticker. I'll have to make some. I'll have to order some. I do need to order more stickers soon because I'm running out of my... Oops, can you guys see? I'm running out of my... um. Morpho butterfly stickers. Jessa says, I would love it as a sticker. Wow, you guys are, are like really liking the idea. <laughs> okay, I will definitely make this into a sticker. I am making some new sticker sheets really soon, probably, um, I don't know, in a week or two in ordering those. So I will order stickers of this painting too. Joy says, those final details are always satisfying as you see it come together. Yes, I think that that's why adding details is like exciting because yeah, you, you, you got to see your painting really come together. Oh no, I'm running out of more green. I always do this. I never mix enough. Can you guys believe that we have been live for three hours? Can you believe it? I can't. Oops, I added way too much purple. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Here, I, I tried to make this a lot shorter than the last two. <laughs> it didn't happen. It's okay, though. It was, it's been fun hanging out with you guys. Marie says that she loves blending too. Desiree says, I will need to go feed my, my, my geckos when the stream is over and then I will go on painting. Wait, and then I will go on painting. Will be a nice break to stretch my legs a bit. Yeah, I didn't know you had geckos. How cute. Have you ever painted them? I really need to paint Leo. I don't know why I haven't yet, but I was thinking, I don't know, this is just something I've been thinking about, but I never have told anyone, <laughs> but of like making a Leo like sticker sheet, <laughs> like painting him and like, like him sleeping and him like playing with his toys and him just being crazy and cute. 
it would kind of be more for me, like a sticker sheet for me, but <laughs> I just, I feel like that would be so cute. Joy says, I have a virtual meeting. I got to go. It was a joy watching you paint today. I hope I will have time this weekend to give it a try. The turtle and butterfly concept is so cute. Goodbye. Well, thank you, Joyce, for joining. Um, I'm glad that you're able to join. And, um, wow. I'm like... I'm like really tired right now. <laughs> I, I'm glad that, that you guys can hang out with me and we can paint together and chat. Jessa um, asks um, Desiree what gecko she has and she says, yes, paint Leo. I do, I need to paint him. It'll be a project of mine. Maybe, maybe after, well, I'm just making excuses now. I was going, I was going to say maybe after the butterfly challenge, but yeah, I just need to paint him. <laughs> and she, she says, I would have, I, I would buy out that sticker sheet so fast. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad you like Leo, um, so much. Jessa painted a portrait of Leo for me. And it's like, it, it was like the sweetest thing I've ever received. I, I was so touched. And it, it is um, on my bookcase right now, along with some of my other treasures. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We are almost to the end. Candy, hi Candy, how are you doing? And Marie says, yes, paint Leo. Okay, you guys convinced me. <laughs> Susie says, I absolutely love it. So talented. Thank you, Susie. Yeah, if you guys um, paint this turtle, tag me on Instagram so I can see it. And I'll share it to my stories. And I, I try to save, like everyone's art who, like, what, what am I trying to say? I, I save in a folder on my computer all of the art you guys make from my tutorials. It's always a pleasure to see your artwork. Okay. Wow. I think we're done. I think we're done, guys. I will probably add more detail to him later. Maybe, um, push these values more, like make him pop more and add more detail. But yeah, I think he's basically done. Um, and let me read some comments and then I will um, say goodbye to you. Let's see. Desiree says that she has crested geckos. 21 of them. Oh my goodness, 21? That just seems like a lot to me. Maybe it's not. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Um, Jessa says, I'm so glad you like it, Allison. You bring us so much joy. I wanted to give you give a little back to you. Thank you, Jessa. Kenny says, one day, can you make a video on lighting and shading? That's the only thing I struggle with. Good idea. Yeah, I, I do hope to make a video soon on shading and and yeah, I'll, I'll try to um, talk about lighting as well. Katie says, looks great. Marie says, I love the colors on his shell. Okay. Sarah says, looking great. Desiree says, love the painting, Allison. Thank you guys. 
here I will um show you an overhead view of it all so there we have it and I'll show you some close-ups Claire says, have you thought about Patreon? I have. I have thought about it. I think someday soon I will make one. But I do, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, what, what will I have the tears be? I have no idea. So it is something I, I think about. Um, yeah. And, um, here is my desk. There are you guys. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is my overhead tripod thing. It's, this is linked in the description of the video and all of my supplies as well. And I have my camera here that I was filming a few um, shots for Instagram and my vlog. Okay, um, I'm going to turn my camera around and say goodbye to you guys. Hold on just a second. Let me take my cord off. Okay. Hi. Okay. Um, can you guys see me well? Maybe not. Hi guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know um, in the comments after this live what you thought about it or, or in the chat too. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you have a lovely Friday and weekend. Let me read some of your comments. We have Claire, Claire says bye, bye a lot. A lot says, thank you so much for hanging out with us. The painting turned out wonderful, or turned out beautiful. Thank you. Marie says, you made, you made it. Wait, you, you made it. Yeah, I did. Three hours. Another three hour live. Can't believe it. <laughs> Jesse says, thank you. Love it. The turtle's beautiful. You're welcome, guys. Sarah, bye. Bye, Sarah. Melanie. Desiree, thank you guys so much. It was a lot of fun. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. The next video will be at, uh, Studio Vlog 49 on Tuesday. So I'll see you then. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Okay, how do I? I'm always like, how do I end this? All right, bye guys.